Hannah Money Toys has brought back that feeling you had as a kid when you spotted that new toy line on the shelf. Alternation action figures, humans, hybrids, heroes for a new generation. Ultra Maximus viewers get 10% off with code ULTRAMAX. Link in the description below. Shop now at Pandemonium Toys. Hey guys, Ultra Maximus here. Give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. And jump over to Facebook and like my page to upload your video links, pictures, and join the conversation there. Click on the links in the description below. Hey guys, Ultra Maximus back with another reveals video. So today was a Hasbro Pulse Fan First Friday for Marvel Legends. Uh, they did one for Star Wars figures back on May 1st, and I kind of really didn't do anything for that. But there were some very interesting reveals uh, going on today. Now, a lot of the stuff we'd already seen revealed at uh, Toy Fair, but we got some uh, nice, uh, I think, promotional pictures I kind of want to take a look at then, you know, just kind of put my thoughts on some of these figures and see what you guys think. So let's go ahead and take a look at them. All right, so let's go ahead and kick it off with Spider-Man. So we're getting a retro Spider-Man figure that's got kind of the 90s Toy Biz card that they've been doing for a couple years now, which I really do dig. I like that. And it's really hard for assholes to swap figures out in, so I'm definitely a fan of the Blister Pack. And uh, I like it. It looks pretty good. I like the art design. This is one of those things that uh, an inbox collector uh, would really dig because you can keep it. It looks good. The art works nice, and you can hang it up on a uh, you know a wall with a thumbtack. That's what I do with these kind of boxes. And uh, yeah, I'm definitely digging it. So here's looking at the actual figure itself, and uh, yeah, it's essentially Pizza Spidey. Uh, with the kind of uh, 90s Spider-Man animated series slash comic book look. And I, I, I don't know, it looks a little harder to me edge-wise than the animated series does, although I know it's supposed to be the animated series. It's very comic booky, but it's a great Spider-Man. Uh, you know, this is a reused figure, obviously. We're just getting some new paint apps on it, and uh, I'm okay with that. I like this figure. I like this mold. I think this works. I think this is a great jumping in point uh, for people getting into Marvel Legends who don't want to pay that stupid amount of money for the Pizza Spidey. And, uh, you know, it works for me. And uh, being a 90s Toy Biz fan, I'm all about it. So the next figure is kind of interesting. It's Peter Parker. And I remember this figure back in the day. In fact, I just recently got the Toy Biz version of this uh, from my local flea market here in Indiana, and I picked it up tonight, oddly enough, before I started recording this video, uh, moving stuff around and looking what I needed to, to put on the review deck, and I love the fact that we're bringing a Peter Parker figure back into Marvel Legends. So this is this is this is a really cool figure. I like this. We've got a Tony Stark figure before. Uh, I like the uh, secret identity figures. They're pretty cool. He's got his little camera like the Toy Biz one does, and then he's got an alternate head from the glasses to a half Spider-Man mask, half Peter Parker face. Which the Toy Biz one, I need to do the retro review on it, but the Toy Biz one, uh, the head flipped. Like that was the play gimmick. You could spin the head inside the body, uh, which was really, really cool. And uh, I don't know. Looking at this, I like the Peter Parker figure. It looks pretty cool. But looking at the alternate head, is it me or is the face under the mask more of a uh, Miles than it is uh, Peter. It looks like a, a, a Morales figure, not a Parker figure. I don't know. Uh, maybe it's just the darkness of the image. I mean, maybe he's just really tan. I, I, I don't know. But the fact that we're getting a Peter Parker, I'm all for that. So here's another one that I really do dig. This is a Gwen Stacy figure, which... 
I don't know if we got one of those in the 90s or not. Um, I'll have to go back and look. Uh, leave a comment below if I am wrong about that. But this really reminds me of the Cuckoo's figure from Walgreens, which I still have not seen any of those. Uh, I'd like to pick a few of those up. Um, because you can interswap the head. It comes with a Mary Jane head. So you can either get Mary Jane or Gwen Stacy. This might be one you have to get two figures just so you can get both of them. I really like the fact it could either be Gwen or MJ. Uh, that's a very nice uh, feature for the figure for collectors uh, to pick uh, the girlfriend of choice. So sure, I'm down for it. So here we have the Gwen Stacy head on the figure. Looks great. I mean, this is straight classic Gwen Stacy. Uh, it looked great with the Green Goblin diorama throwing her off of a bridge or something. Uh, she comes with some school books and things. Uh, definitely digging it. Liking the look. Um, I mean, it's, it's Gwen Stacy. Uh, I, you can't really say anything other than that. Now, can you? Now, here we have the body mold with the MJ head and... To be honest, I think it looks better with the Gwen Stacy head on it. Uh, if I get this figure, I will probably keep the Gwen Stacy head on there. Uh, it just the green jacket and the purple uh, skirt makes me think of Gwen Stacy. I like the head sculpt for both of them. Uh, I, I don't know if I would actually get this figure or not. I know we've had multiple MJ figures and a few Gwens. But, uh, um, yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you like the Gwen or the MJ head better on this body? Me, I, I, I think it's got to go to the Gwen head. So now we're going to get a new Green Goblin figure, which I'm definitely digging this. Uh, we just got a Goblin not too long ago, more of a comic book version, I guess. This is the animated series Incarnation. Uh, which it's, it's going to be a lot of reuse of the other figure, just different paint amps on it, I'm sure. Head sculpt probably a little bit different, but uh, yeah, I'm definitely down for this figure. So looking at the body here, love the glider. He's got the pumpkin bomb. I, I, I like the sculpt. I like the paint. And the uh, Osborne head is okay. I mean, I know it's going to come with one of those. Uh, I don't have a modern Marvel Legends Green Goblin, so this may be one I pick up just to have on my Spider-Man shelf to have a, a good Green Goblin. And, uh, I mean, it's got all the hallmarks I want for one, so I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you like this animated version better than you do the comic book version or vice versa? Leave a comment down below. And then we're going to get another Electro figure. It's Marvel's Electro this time. Uh, again, this is a remold. A lot of reuse. A lot of these figures are retools, which is fine. I mean, they've been doing that for a long time. It gives us a lot of characters. Um, I, we've had a similar version of this. Uh, again, a comic book version of this. It looks like it's just a different paint job to me. I don't really know if I see any mold differences um, I don't know. This is probably going to be an easy pass for me. So he's got the electricity coming off the fingers, inter-swappable hands. I like the fact he's got the inter-swappable hands because I do not like the electrical effects molded into the fingers. I would have preferred for this figure to have splayed out fingers and then an electrical shock uh, effect able to plug onto the hand. I think that would have been a better use of this uh, versus the previous one. But again, this really just kind of looks like a, a redux of what we've gotten before with kind of the animated paint scheme. Uh, I don't know. What do you guys think? So then we get a Daredevil figure, and this is the 90s Daredevil, and I'm super excited about this. Uh, again, funny, I just picked this figure up uh, from my local flea market not too long ago, the 90s Toy Biz version. It's a little rough on the paint, but uh, I've always liked this incarnation of Daredevil, and uh, it's cool to see it coming back in this retro style. Now, out of all of these retro figures, this might be my favorite uh, and my most anticipated one. I'm loving the sculpt. Um, we got some new parts on it. That metallic red looks bitching. I absolutely adore that. He comes with a Matt Murdock head sculpt and all of these little accessories. This is 100% a must pick up for me. 
And of course, the Age of Apocalypse continues. I was really excited to see this one too. I've got to get those uh, Age of Apocalypse figures. Those just look really cool. One of my favorite, uh, you know, storylines uh, in the, what was that, the late 90s that that came out. Uh, of course, we've got Apocalypse himself um, with his cape and everything, alternate head, an alternate hand, and he comes with this skull that looks wicked. Now, I want to say that skull is Professor X's skull. I gotta go back and read that comic line again. Leave a comment down below if I'm wrong, but I really want to say that is the Professor X head sculpt. The nice thing about this is if, uh, you know, I noticed uh, one of the members on the clit, one of the groups I'm on in Facebook, uh, she posted that uh, she was all excited because uh, she can complete her other apocalypse figure she was building because it comes with an extra head. So that's kind of nice. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I definitely dig this. Uh, you know, I'm going to complete out the Age of Apocalypse, uh, uh, Epoxy, the Age of Apocalypse figures, and I hope we get a full run of them because they're just a lot of fun. So next up, we get some AIM Troopers. Yay. Now, the packaging looks like it might be a special edition or something. Uh, you know, I, this is definitely just a reissue figure in the single form. I remember Toys R Us having a two-pack of these guys, right? Or was it the two-pack of the um, Hydra uh, characters, and then this guy came with somebody else? He was in a two-pack of something that's been released before for Toys R Us, uh, but this is... This is one of those things I really just don't care about. This is an easy pass for me. Um, although I want to say when um, Squirrel Girl had a comic, she ran into these guys. And these were the ones that were terrified because she'd beaten Doctor Doom or something. It was a Deadpool comic. And he was like, wait, what? What's going on? So the only reason I would even remotely think about getting these is to do a diorama with Squirrel Girl and... That is not going to happen. All right, so the next figure up is a new War Machine figure. Again, this is a comic uh, version. Uh, we get a roadie head that looks pretty good, very comic-esque roadie head. I like this version of War Machine. looks good. Um, definitely digging this box. I've noticed this bigger box with the more stuff, it's really so they can get an extra $10 out of this, uh, which... I'm okay with. Give me more accessories and I'll pay that extra money. However, I don't know if this is a figure that I'm going to do it with. Um, I like all the accessories. They look super cool. Um, but I've got several War Machine figures now and I don't know if I need another. This would be a good time for somebody to jump in for War Machine if they haven't gotten one. So I'm appreciative of that uh, for those collectors. I guess this really kind of uh, uh, boils down to how it's going to look in hand. If it does look really cool in hand, it may be something I pick up. But right now, uh, it's kind of lukewarm to me. So this was an interesting reveal. We're getting a comic book Moon Knight, or a classic comic book Moon Knight. Uh, they've just recently put one out that I've already reviewed. Uh, you know, and I'd only seen two of those figures out. It's the one where he's got the body armor, uh, kind of the newer version, which is pretty cool. I like it. Um, but this is the Moon Knight that I remember reading when I was younger, so I'm, I'm kind of interested in this. It looks like he might be on that uh, uh, Spider-Man butterfly joint body, uh, which is interesting. And then he's got the moon tampoed on there. Uh, and then he's got two heads, one with the black mask and then one with the white mask. I'm definitely digging the one with the white mask. Uh, but that black mask would probably look really cool on there as well. And then all of his accessories look exactly the same on what we'd gotten before. I'm going to bet it's probably the same cape. Um, probably the same head sculpts, just different paint apps. I will say this about this figure. the Those little moon crescents are cool, but Jesus, they are so small and can get lost. Um, I, I wish there was a way to store them on his belt, um, but uh, I do like how they go into his knuckles. It looks good, but go oh God, those are accessories that will get lost in carpet. 
So then we got some uh, looks at other figures that are coming. So this is the Old Man Hawkeye from the Old Man Logan series, which I'm definitely digging. I think this looks pretty cool. I think they previewed this at Toy Fair as well. Um, so it's kind of interesting to see him come out. I know they revealed we're getting a Old Man Logan comics version that comes with the Baby Hulk. Um, I, I don't know. I love the sculpt on this. I think it looks really good. I'm just not a huge fan of this particular character. He was kind of a bit piece to me in uh, the comic. Uh, yeah, I mean, he played a pivotal role, but he wasn't the interest uh, to me in the comic. And uh, I know this is going to be another one of those. Uh, am I going to get the, the Wolverine with the Baby Hulk? And uh, is this guy going to look cool? I, I may get him that way, but this could be a potential pass for me. And then we're getting the Green Suit Rogue. Um, I'm pretty sure this is a more modern version of Rogue. She's got a lot more gray in the hair. I'm not very familiar with with this interpretation of the character, uh, if you guys know, leave a comment down below. I, yeah, I mean, it's an okay looking figure. I just don't like the color combination, the design, uh, any of it really. This is going to be an easy pass for me unless it sparks something in the storyline that it comes from. But uh, yeah, uh, I don't know. What do you guys think of this figure? Uh, tell me in the comments. Uh, this is just, this is looking like an easy pass for me. And then that leads us into Nimrod, and uh, this is a must-get for me, <laughs> absolutely. Uh, they did announce this earlier this year. I want to say it was Toy Fair. Uh, it might have been just on a release, uh, but uh, yeah, this looks pretty good. It's not the exact Nimrod I remember from the 80s, but it's a, a, one of the versions of Nimrod, and it looks really, really good. Uh, I, I can't say anything bad about it looking at these pictures. And this is kind of fun. Uh, here we see him with his uh, blast effects and an alternate head. So apparently he's going to have an alternate head. This is the this is the more classic 80s Nimrod that I remember uh, reading as a kid, which I definitely dig. The other one looks good too. It's more the more modern version, but uh, this will definitely be the way that I pose the figure up on the shelf with this head sculpt. Um, I mean, they're killing it with this. Uh, this is definitely a must-have for my collection. All right, now, uh, here we got Kingpin in the Retro Card Series. This was not part of the first fan reveal today, but uh, they revealed him a few weeks back, and I haven't got a chance to really talk about him. Uh, we had the Build-A-Figure Kingpin, uh, which this is obviously the same figure, just a repaint, and a lot of people got kind of pissed off about it. Like, look, they did the same thing with the Hulk and Juggernaut and uh, all those figures. Are you really shocked? And I like that. I like the fact that they're uh, doing this so people who either, A, couldn't find all the figures for the Build-A-Figure or couldn't afford to do that can get this. And this is the animated series version, which... I like. I, I think the Build-A-Figure comic version looked a lot better, um, but um, this is definitely cool. I did not get to do the Build-A-Figure because that was one of the few figures that I really liked in it, um, but uh, I'll definitely pick this one up. I'm liking the look of him. I mean, it's the exact same figure. It's just repainted in the... Uh, animated series colors. There might be some slight differences in the body there, uh, but uh, I'm pretty sure the head sculpts are the same. Uh, that blue up around the top might be a little bit different. I'll have to go back and look at pictures, but uh, definitely digging him. Love the pinky ring. Uh, it's, it's, it's Kingpin, and uh, I'll definitely be picking this guy up. All right, and then they gave us some teases of two figures. So they showed the foot of a figure. At first, I was like, what in the hell is this? Is this somebody's shoe? And then I realized, you know, it was a tease to uh, an upcoming release figure. And somebody over on the uh, Marvel Legends community page on Facebook, I mean, they nailed who this is. This has got to be none other than the Black King from the Hellfire Club, uh, which is very, very interesting. I like the Hellfire Club. I think it's a pretty good uh, group for the X-Men. Uh, I don't know if I want to get all the figures for it. I kind of do because they're kind of one of those classic 
uh, villain groups from the 80s that I really dug reading the comics. Uh, what do you guys think? Do you think that this is who this is? I really do think it is. Uh, leave a comment down below. Um, you know, do you like the Hellfire Club characters? Do you want to see more of them? And then the last kind of tease they gave us was, I'm guessing that's one of the toy designers at his house, which is kind of interesting. Uh, we get this giant robot leg, like super huge Transformers, uh, Fortress Maximus size, uh, a Transformer and uh, a robot leg. And uh, a lot of people are thinking that this is none other than Master Mold, uh, the giant uh, sentient sentinel that made all the little sentinels and was, I remember this being a huge deal in the comics and in the X-Men animated series. And I remember there being a master mold that was like just his big head because I remember that being a big running line in the comics as well. I don't know if they did that in the animated series or not. I can't remember. But, uh, if that is master mold, that is going to be utterly badass and it, it it seems like that would be either a kickstarter thing and a hasbro pulse purchase only like a unicron for transformers or they'd have to put that in like two or three lines of uh, uh characters for a build a figure i don't know what do you guys think uh um do you think that's master mold uh, are they going to do a one purchase item? Are they going to try to do a build a figure out of that? If it is, in fact, Master Mold, uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts and uh, conspiracies down below. All right, so there it is uh, Hasbro's Fan First Friday from Pulse, um, Marvel Legends, uh, some reveals, a lot of that stuff. Uh, like I said, they revealed it. Uh, back at Toy Fair earlier this year, which uh, which is fine. It gave us a little closer look at some of the figures and uh, uh, some of the other figures, which I've never seen before and very exciting, very cool, and then some sneak peeks and uh, make you think what it's going to be. Uh, do you like these figures? What are you going to pick up? I'd be very interested to hear from you. Leave a comment down below. Jump over to my Facebook page. Uh, join the conversation there. Add your pictures. Add links to your videos. Uh, and as always, look for videos coming soon. Hey guys, thanks for watching. To watch more Ultra Maximus, click on the links to the right. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. And jump over to Facebook and like my page to upload your video links, pictures, and join the conversation there. Click on the links in the description below.